Hello YouTube, this is uh, Dylan with the Propel Cup Series and um, today I'm going to be going over the uh, the die cast that I got from my uh, uh, Indianapolis trip way back at the beginning of September. I know this is a little late and whatnot, but um, I'm just gonna... Um, I'll start off with something that I got that I kind of liked uh, before we got to Indiana, we were still in New York, and we stopped at a uh, travel stop, and um, I got like this little trailer here. I like it. Um, it's New York. It's got my name on it, which is kind of cool. I might put that in like the background of one of my races. So um, there's that, and um, let me see. Uh, this car I got long before we even took the trip, or I think it was, maybe it was a few days before, but um, it's. Chase Elliott's Sun Energy, uh, Sun, Sun Energy One Car, and um, that'll be in in season three. Um, in Indianapolis at a Target, just a few hours before um, the race was, the Xfinity race was supposed to be on Saturday, and then the Cup Series race was supposed to be on Sunday. But it got delayed Sunday, so before the race um, on Sunday, we uh, we went to Target to get a few things, and um, I managed to get uh, two diecasts from that Target. Uh, the first one being Austin Dillon's 2018 Dow Chevrolet Camaro, and um, yeah, so um, got that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of bending over. And then the other car I got was Paul Menard's 21 car. Um, so I'll just put that right there. So yeah, that's about it for Authentics and uh, other stuff that I got. So, um, sorry about the creaking. I'm trying to move the camera so that way I can get all the die cast in here. Um, oh! And uh, two more things. Um, so I've started to get into IndyCar, and um, I wanted to get, since we're going to Indianapolis, I wanted to get a, a few Indy cars, And um, I did just that, and the first car I got was on Sunday, and this was the car that I got. It's uh, James Hinchcliffe's uh, Honda Chevrolet. I'm, I'm still learning, so forgive me if I got that wrong. Let me check. It doesn't actually say on the die cast. I feel like it should, shouldn't it? Oh, it's a Honda, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a Honda. I was right the with the Honda. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got that. And then the other Indy car I got was uh, Monday morning, which was the rain delay. And um, I managed to get Takuma Sato's Indy 500 uh, race version uh, champion car. And um, I forget how much it was. I don't think it has the price. It, it does. Okay, so it was about $9. I, was this about the same? Yes. So they were both $9. I don't know if that's the... That's the price that should be, but I don't know that's, if that's the price that it's normally be. Now, um, so now I guess I should get into the NASCAR diecasts, which I know a lot of you on Instagram have been wanting to see, and um, so it's uh, hopefully it's like a dream come true for you guys. I'm just gonna put some cars in front of me here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go in any specific order. Um, yeah, I'll just. Start with. I'm not going to take them out of the boxes because I feel like that would just take forever to um, record. So let me just adjust the camera a little bit. A bit better, maybe. And uh, shout out to the uh, Earnhardt poster. I've had that for a while. Um, actually, it fell down off the, s the screws that were in the wall. And um, luckily, it didn't break. So that's good. Anyways. For 2018 diecasts, the first car is Michael McDowell's 34 
uh, loves Speedco Ford Fusion. I got the uh, 2016 Chris Busher version of this, but um, I think this one, I think this one might be a little bit better, or at least looks nicer. Um, next car I got. Now this isn't the or the exact order that I got them at the track. This is just a random order that I uh, threw them all in. When we get more towards like Daniel Suarez or yeah Daniel Suarez, it'll it'll be more like more in order, I guess. So the so the next car I got was Ryan Newman's Cabela's Best or Best Pro Shops Cabela's uh, 31 Chevrolet. And um, out of the box, this car looks amazing. I know this uh, this lighting isn't doing its justice, and it looks a little orange actually. So um, I think I might end the video here and uh, adjust the settings to make it not as orange. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so now I believe I fixed it. It doesn't look as orange here on the camera. So um, I will continue on and hopefully uh, get this done quick because there's a lot of cars to go through. Um, so this next car I have is Ryan Newman's Caterpillar car for the 2018 season. It's uh, the Chevrolet Camaro, of course. And, um, yeah, so that's that car. Um, next car I'll do, um, I wouldn't say this is one of my favorite cars, but I do like it. I do think it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's really William Byron's uh, Darlington throwback to Jeff Gordon's Rainbow Warrior car. And, um, I think he did a good job, uh, or they did a good job with the, uh, the colors. I think it looks exactly the same, I mean, besides it saying Exalta. And yes, I do know that Exalta is DuPont. Um, so, the next car, actually, since we're on the topic of William Byron, I guess, I can do this next car. Um, next car I got, or I have, is William Byron's Universe Chevrolet. And, um. I can't really remember what races he ran this one in, but I do like the the paint scheme, and I know the camera isn't really doing its justice, and it almost looks almost like black and gray. Um, but it is like a um, maybe not so much an aquamarine for the roof and the for then for the top swoosh right here, but it's like a um, it's like a forest green almost, um, but glossy, and then. This this uh, little swoosh here is like a mint green, so um, there's that. Um, next car is AJ Allmendinger's 2018 uh, Kroger Clickwist Click List uh, Chevrolet Camaro, and um, I, I probably should have waited till next year until um, Ryan Priest is in it, but oh well, I got this one so. Still gonna look nice either way. Um, next, um, kind of made me a little sad that he retired a little earlier, earlier than he uh, than he wanted. But uh, next is Casey Kane's 2018 Pro Car Pro Co Pro Core Chevrolet Camaro. Jesus. So yeah, it uh, makes me sad that he had done his career uh, early. But um. You know, I guess it's just just life, I guess. But yeah, so uh, that's a nice paint scheme. I like it. I'm not going to try and do like a rating system. It's just going to be ridiculous and cringy. Almost like this video already is. So, um, let's see. What, not, what car do I want to do next? I guess I'll do this one. Yeah, alrighty. So this next car um, is... Daryl Walsh Jr.'s 2018 STP Chevrolet. Um, I'm sorry, I feel like I got a burp, but like it's like it keeps on like going up and down in my throat, and it just feels weird. Anyways, um, yeah, the the lighting isn't really doing its justice. That uh, blue is a little bit brighter. It's not as dark as it looks in the camera, um, unfortunately. But yeah, this is a uh, this is another car I like. I mean, I like all these cars, but you know, diecast. Let me just straighten this out a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, so the next two cars are of the same driver. 
Um, oops. So I already had a 13 car, but I wanted to get one of Ty Dillon. Um, I didn't want to have any Chevrolet SS's. I wanted all Camaros. And um, I know I forgot, or I didn't uh, get all the Camaros that are in the uh, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series uh, field. But um, I think I got a, an ample amount to uh, make Season 3 of the Propel Cup Series work. And uh, this next car, I actually like this paint scheme better for Ty Dillon. It's his Twisted T car. And I gotta say, I as plain as it looks, I love it. I mean, the mountain, it, those are mountains, not waves. Um, if you, I mean, if you knew the paint, if you know the paint scheme, then you already know that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Ty Dillon's Twisted T car. He'll be running both those schemes at select races during season three. Um, okay, so this next car made me a little, oh, what happened there? Oh, the box got ruined. That's unfortunate. Anyways, this next car kind of made me a little upset, a little bit upset, because I didn't know it was on the PTC mold. And after me saying that, you probably know what car it is. It is 2018, and it is Jamie McMurray's number one Cessna car. And uh, I this, I mean, it would have it would have looked a lot better had it been on the uh, EL mold. But, um, I guess you can't always get what you want. So, um, yeah, that's going to be his main scheme for Season 3. I don't, they didn't have his uh, McDonald's car. They didn't have uh, McMurray's McDonald's car or um, Kyle Larson's McDonald's car, which kind of made me, a, made me a, I want to say irate, but a little annoyed, I guess. Alrighty. Why are these cars upside down? Oh. Okay. Some of these cars, or actually two of these cars that I got in here, in this box, um, I got from uh, New Hampshire, which I will, I'll, I'll show them at the end, um, just to not let anyone get confused. Um, but the, let me see, what car do I want to do next? I guess I'll do this car, because I kind of like it. Um, box is a little dirty. This next car is Kevin Harvick's 2018 Freaky Fast, or Jimmy John's Freaky Fast uh, Ford Fusion 4 car. Um, kind of bugs me that um, his cars are all on bases, but I mean, when you have Bush as a sponsor, I guess that makes sense. It's just a pain in the butt to get the uh, the base off of, and I don't want to break the base, I want to keep the base. So uh, I like this car. And um, since we're on the topic of Kevin Harvick, I will do his uh, 2018 Bush Light Ford Fusion car. I have his 2017 uh, uh, normal Bush beer car, but uh, and that that one's off the base. But that one's on the uh, PTC mold, unfortunately. And uh, kind of glad I got this one because this is I like this uh, the Bush Light paint scheme better than the. Um, than the uh, the the regular Bush Beer car, I felt that way since 2016 when he began when uh, when Bush Beer became his uh, primary sponsor. Um, let's see what next. I'll do those ones later on. Wait, one, two. Okay. Okay. So this next car, I've been wanting to get it. I've also wanted to get the Five Hour Energy. Uh, one of it, but they also didn't have that. They didn't have a lot of cars that, I mean, they had a lot of cars clear, uh, clearly, but um, they didn't have a lot of other paint, like alternative paint schemes, especially for Martin Truex Jr. because this is the only one they had. Um, but next is Bass is Martin Truex Jr.'s uh, Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats Toyota Camry, and um, it's too bad that uh, Furniture Row is going to be closing down at the end of the year. Um, and by the way, you leave you leave your um. Leave your thoughts and comments down, uh, down below, on, um, and whatnot. So, um, let's see. We'll do this car next. Um, this next car is Trevor Bain, but I'm actually going to make it. Um, oh, excuse me, that burp finally coming out. Um, this is going to be Trevor Bain, Matt Kenseth. Uh, they're gonna flip flop. Um, 
for the, I'm I'm going to be doing. If you haven't seen my posts on Instagram, I'm going to be doing a um uh, a propel shootout, and um, this is going to be the car for Matt Kenseth that he's going to be driving because he did get a few wins last year, and the uh, entry list is going to be uh, race winners and pole award winners from last year. So um, most of the winners that won last year got also got the pole, which I'll try and avoid that this year, but I can't promise a whole lot. Because I'm probably just going to go back to doing that. Hope you guys like my fan there. Shout out to the fan. Um, up next we will do the 19 of Daniel Suarez. See, I like this Stanley paint scheme because I like the gray. And um, and like the shattered pieces here. and It just makes it stand out a little bit more than uh, Carl Edwards and his last year's paint scheme. So, um... Yeah, this is a very nice Stanley Tools paint scheme. Just the camera a little bit. Um, next, I guess, since we're on Joe Gibbs, I'll be doing Denny Hamlin's FedEx Express number 11 car. See, I think this paint scheme would look good with the, uh, the ground, the freight, and the... Uh, uh, yeah, the whatever one, whatever the other one I'm forgetting. Uh, the the red, the blue, and the green card. I think that would look good on this uh, paint scheme, or as paint scheme wise. Um, if anyone knows why he's not doing that this year or last year even, uh, please let me know. I would like to. I would like to know that. That's a shame that he's not doing that. And then, I've been wanting to get this paint scheme for a while. Matt Kenseth ran it last year when he was in the 20 car. And um, now Eric Jones is driving the 20 car. And uh, now I got it. I was really wanting to get this car too for the longest time. I love this paint scheme. It just just sets me off. You know. I don't know how you guys feel about it. How do you guys feel? What do you guys feel about um, him getting a win at Daytona? I mean, I know those, I mean, I know the restricted plate tracks are all, like, pure luck and whatnot, but, um, it's cool that he got a win, first career win. He was, uh, strong all year, all year last year, and, I mean, probably as strong, if not a tiny bit stronger than he was, or this year than he was last year, but, uh, for the final Joe Gibbs car, of course, it's Kyle Busch, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, pr he got a win at Richmond in this car, right? With in the in the playoffs. But yeah, so I wanted to get his uh M&M caramel car, but they also didn't have that one. Uh, if that's a shocker. So um yeah. Uh up next, I guess we'll do the Chase Elliott's. So I don't know which one is his secondary and which one's his tertiary. So I'm just going going to do which one I think is his secondary paint scheme. His uh that being said, I got his Mountain Dew Chevrolet Camaro for um, 2018 season, and once again, the, uh, the lighting isn't really doing any justice for this car. Um, it's not as dark as it looks. It's just camera and the lighting. Excuse me, gassy, I guess. But uh, I wanted. I've been wanting to get his uh, Baja Blast car for for a while. Ever since I saw it on track, didn't ever, I didn't really see it in person, but still I would like to like to see it. And um, unfortunately, I wasn't uh, really paying attention to this one. Um, it's got a little bit of a scuff mark right there. You can kind of see it, a little blurry. But um, the orange isn't as gold, I guess, as it looks on the camera. It's a little bit more orange here, or orange. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's about what his cars look like. Um, next, I will. Oh, we're starting to run out of cars. I I didn't do him. So, I got his 2017 Mobile One car, which that came on the EL mold, luckily, and so did this one. And I've been wanting to get this one and the um, the red one. But uh, hopefully you guys know what I mean, where the black is actually red on on the other car, and the red is the the red is the black. 
yeah. So I've been wanting to get that car, but uh, I like this car too. And I'm pretty sure it's gloss, yeah. It is a gloss car. I thought it was matte. The matte black, but um, this is Clint Boyer's Haas CNC 2018 Ford Fusion. So he'll be running that along with the Mobile One car that I have for him. Um, so next I guess I can move on to the Ricky Stenhouse Jr. cars, which they had the most of him. So uh, starting off first is Ricky Stenhouse's uh, main paint scheme, which is oddly similar to Kyle Larson's Credit One paint scheme. Um, right? Yeah, a little bit. Um, so yeah, they had... He was the one that had the most paint schemes. Ryan Newman had three, but I only got two because I didn't want to... Excuse me. Jeez. Because I didn't want to get too many Ryan Newmans just for him to to leave next year. Um, so yeah, this is Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s 2018 Fast and All uh, uh, for Fusion. And that's his main scheme. Uh, so... That would be secondary. Uh, so next is his fifth third bank, which is not different from his 2017 car, which this car looks about the same. The light blue might be a little bit brighter, but the dark blue looks just about the same. Um, so this is his fifth third uh, 2018 Ford Fusion 17 car, which I've been wanting to get that too. Uh, next, um, I wasn't really expecting to get this one, but I was happy that I did, along with this next one, because that next one is probably my favorite Ricky Stenhouse Jr. car that I got. Excuse me. And that is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Sunny D 2018 Ford Fusion. And, um, I like this paint scheme, but I gotta say, I the next one that he has, or that I got for him, it just takes the cake. And you might have just seen it, or saw it. But, um, yep. It's his little hugs. 2018 Ford Fusion 17 car. This is just this. I think I don't. I don't want to say it's my favorite, but um, it is uh, quite magnifique, if I must say. So yeah, that's about that's about accurate. Maybe the purple is not as dark as it looks, but that's about what the car looks like. And then um. I got three more cars to do, and then I'll get into the two cars that I got from New Hampshire. So, um, next, um, not really sure which one's his main scheme, but, um, I mentioned him, uh, along with, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s, uh, Fast and All car. Uh, I think this might be his main scheme, but, um, it's Kyle Larson's Credit One, uh, 42 2018 Chevrolet Camaro. And um, it's not gloss, which I was actually shocked to see, along with his other car. Um, it's not gloss; it's matte. It's like a flat color. I'm sorry. I say I say flat because uh, my dad and I used to work on models, and the uh, the paint color would say like flat black or flat magenta or something something crazy like that. Um, so yeah, that's why I say that's why I said flat. Um, I know it's matte, but. Yeah, so that's Kyle Larson's 2018 car, or 2018 current one car, and then his other car I got was his DC Solar car, and I've been wanting this car since I've seen it in the Xfinity scene, uh, Xfinity series, and um, so I'm happy I got this one. It's his, I don't know if I said it, but it's his DC Solar 42 Chevrolet Camaro for 2018, and uh, I think this is my favorite Kyle Larson. Car. I don't know if his um his uh uh what I, I don't know what to call it like his son there is supposed to be off center or not so um it probably is I haven't seen a lot of other diecasts like it and then finally um from Indianapolis I got Ryan Blaney's uh, number twelve PPG car. And uh, I actually didn't know what PPG was until we passed a truck that said PPG uh, paints on it. So I'm guessing PPG is a paint company. So uh, and that was after the after the race. And yeah, so yeah, that's a little little trivia that I guess I can give on to you guys. 
So now, so that's all the cars I got from Indianapolis. And actually, there's one last thing that I did get from Indianapolis. Uh, it's not a car, but it is a hat that I that I like. And excuse me, Jesus. Man. The uh, <coughs> jeez. Sorry about that. Um, the uh, the material used is not not of a hat that I've ever used before. It's like a um, almost feels like spandex, kind of. And it's got a signature there. Um, but yeah, I got this hat. I believe it was fourteen dollars, and it, I like it. The only thing is, it looks kind of big on my head, and it kind of like pops up. But yeah, so. Didn't get any shirts. I didn't get any, um, anything else. That's all from Indianapolis. Um, so from New Hampshire, uh, the box got the two boxes got wet. So if they look a little damaged, that's why. Um, Cause that was also a, uh, a rained event, which they had the track dryers on, on track four. But uh, the first car I got was Ryan Blaney's uh, Duracell Menards 12 2018 Ford Fusion. Um, I was hoping to get the 21 Paul Menard version of this at Indianapolis, but, uh, I don't think we stopped at the Penske Haulers, because that was just a lot of walking. Uh, up next, I, they had this at Indianapolis, but I got it at New Hampshire. Uh, these are the two cars that I got in New Hampshire. I posted them on Instagram. So the next car I got was Alex Bowman's 2018 Nationwide 88 Chevrolet Camaro, and um, I don't know why, but the the Camaro, the front bumper on this Camaro or on this diecast looks a little bit larger than, let's say, the 42 over there. It just looks bulkier and fatter and chubbier for some reason. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about all the cars I got from New Hampshire and Indianapolis. Um, I know I've been dead, and I, I know I need to get up, uh, actually, that vlog will probably be up, be up, by, um, before I post this video, so, um, I want to thank you guys for watching, um, I have a Patreon now, I will leave that in the link, or in the description below, if you guys are interested in helping me out, um, I did leave tears, um, so if you wanted to go check that out, you can. I'll like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. Follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, the, their links are always in the bio or in the description below. So um, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I know it was kind of a kind of a long, boring video. I've never done one of these before. So uh, so I'll see you guys at the beginning of season three for the Pro Belt Cup Series.